If you've been at the same length for years and years and just not seeing any progress, is your hair just so difficult and hard to manage? Do you spend just hours trying to detangle? Well, if that's you, then you've definitely landed on the right video because I'm going to be showing you my start to finish wash day routine with very minimal effort. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct your path. Amen. So let's get into this video. And before we even get into doing your hair, let's just prepare the mood, prepare the atmosphere, clear up what you have to do. And let's make this as enjoyable as possible. Put on your favorite show and let's make this a vibe because natural hair deserves all the TLC that it needs. So let's get into this hair that I need to take out. And protective styles are great, but how you take them down is so important. And these are really important steps that I'm gonna show you that a lot of people actually miss out on. So I'm gonna be showing you my favorite oils. Everything that I'm using is gonna be in the description bar. And I'm gonna be, of course, using some scissors. And I'm just gonna be taking down my hair, but I'm gonna show you the method in which I take it down because it's so important. But first of all, I'm gonna cut out the braids um, as much as I can, unfortunately. But fortunately, my hair is really long. So I literally have to cut the braid at the very end and like try not to cut my hair. Then I'm gonna coat my fingers with oil just for a bit more slippage. And the most important part of this video, I'm gonna be showing you very soon. And we're gonna get right into it. And it's when you take down your braids, if you're doing a protective style, is to ensure when you obviously get your braid unraveled and you take all that out when you get to the point of demarcation i'm going to show you exactly what to do so first of all of course i'm taking out the braid and i'm showing you the time in which i'm starting which is about 9 30 a.m boy this took about two days i'm never getting braids this tiny again So yes, we've come to the most important part of the video. As you saw before, I coated my fingers with oil and that is such an important step. And ideally you don't want to have nails because it makes it more difficult, but if you do, you can still do it. But you wanna make sure the point in which your hair met the fake additional hair that you put on your on your hair is so delicate and as you can see there can be a bit of build up there can be a bit of manning it can be a bit of everything a bit of lint built up everything and that point is so fragile and you want to make sure you don't just rip it out you want to saturate your finger look at that it's literally stuck you don't want to comb through never ever 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 do that use oil on your fingers and gently i'm saying baby it okay don't force it through. It's going to take a little bit of time, but it's so worth it because you're going to be able to retain all the length that you want. There's literally no point in you doing a protective style and completely wasting it. You want to take your sweet time. Don't get rid of that effort. Okay, so that's me showing you just in that one small section. And now I'm going to do this for the rest of my hair. And I'm just showing you that I had a single stranded knot. And these are totally normal when it comes to natural hair because our hair is so kinky and curly. And I've just cut it out, as you can see, that literally... That small dot that you can see is a single stranded knot and you never want to comb through those. You don't even want to try to unravel them too much. You just want to cut them out because at that point, there's nothing you can do. Your hair is literally formed a knot and you can't unravel that. So make sure when you're taking your hair down, you have some hair scissors because it's so, so important. <sighs> so I've only got the front portion left and we're finally getting that this is literally taking like two days <laughs> i've been taking it out so slow and yeah just got the cornrow part remaining and hopefully i can salvage my edges but can you guys just see what is happening here there's literally a gap of my hair when i take it out and try and show you guys a little bit better but i'm not worried about that because i know i have great products so let's continue So one thing you make you want to make sure that you're doing when you're taking out braids is making sure that your hands are lubricated with oil when handling your natural hair. Just 
to prevent all that breakage. And that's that. Thankfully, I don't have what seems like any lint or build up in my hair. And I think that's actually because I wash my hair more often in these braids than I have in the past. So that's something I'm gonna definitely recommend is that when you do have braids, make sure you wash them regularly, especially especially if you wanna prevent, you know, that build up that can occur. So when like your natural hair meets the actual synthetic hair, that point is very fragile because what will happen is all the buildup of products, sweat, whatever it is, and like things like cotton material gets built up and you will just see like white flaky bits that you have to remove. And sometimes it will actually knot up and be very hard to remove. And that's when I say, use a little bit of oil and detangle that. But because I've washed my hair, there's literally nothing to detangle. And I love that for me. So make sure you wash your braids, girl. I know that you don't wanna make them messy, but maybe like once every two weeks should be okay. And you can just wash it in a way that won't like mess up the style, but still maintain your hair. So let's go ahead and get the rest of these off because I've had enough. I need to eat, I need to just do so many things, so yeah. So after about two and a half days, your girl finally took all the braids out. And yeah, I at this point had enough, but we're gonna go right into the wash day routine. Guys, look at these bottles. I'm so incredibly excited to be using these newly branded products. And because I've got acrylic nails, I'm gonna be using gloves to handle my hair. And I'm just showing you guys that I had a little bit of alopecia, honey, um, that was forming due to just the way in which the corners are. Um, yeah so stylists please help us with our edges but i'm not afraid because i've got follicle fuel pro plus and this genuinely is the best hair growth oil it really does help to battle alopecia strengthen the hair follicles and prevent like permanent damage and as you can see yeah i'm just showing you guys like there is a different intensity in my hairline but that's fine i'm not afraid i'm going to be using that follicle fuel pro plus baby so first things first is i'm going to saturate this low porosity hair with water it takes me a very long time for my hair to be saturated but i'm just so excited to show you the length of my hair because honestly guys i know i say this almost every video but I have never imagined my hair being this long in my life. Like genuinely, I would watch all the YouTubers like 10 years ago thinking like, oh my gosh, could my hair ever reach that length? It's possible, guys. And me showing you these routines consistently, I'm hoping that you're learning a thing or two. Um, and I'm first gonna be going in with the tangle slayer. I've definitely shifted towards doing a pre-poo before shampooing because I find that my wash day just goes a lot more smoother. So because I've got low porosity hair, I'm focusing on doing a conditioner pre-poo. If you have high porosity hair, I would recommend you doing a hot oil treatment just to prevent the damage that can occur in the washing process because your cuticles are a little bit more fragile. But if you are low porosity, then I would just focus on using a conditioner based pre-poo. So if you're low porosity, conditioner pre-poo, I had a little bit of the extension in my hair goodness but if you're low porosity babe do a conditioner pre-poo if you're high porosity do an oil pre-poo and i'm just can you just see how quickly i'm running my fingers through this hair that hasn't been detangled in like over a month guys when i say the tangle slayer slays tangles like we didn't name it that just because it for fun like we named it because it literally destroys tangles it literally softens your hair so it feels like silk and then you're able to glide through your hair in minimal time because i'm a natural that i just don't have the time so if you're someone who doesn't have the time but still wants to maintain long healthy hair then the tangle slayer is your best bet it's probably one of our most rated and highly raved about products on um, Mineral Natural. So if there's any product you're gonna try, I would definitely recommend the Tangle Slayer because, you know, having natural hair, I think one of our biggest challenges is just the knots and tangles that form, um, which are natural. So any way to combat that and just make life a little bit easier, then please sign me up. So that's why I definitely made sure that the Tangle Slayer really does slay tangles. And the thing is you get time back in your day. Like who wants to spend hours trying to do tangle hair? Like nobody on this earth. So if you want an easy breezy wash day, 
then the tangle slay is for you and i think i just literally picked up a knot that formed and as you can see i'm not going to go through with the comb and run that through i'm going to notice the knot i'm going to destroy that knot with my fingers and the tangle slayer don't ever rush never ever rush removing tangles from your hair because if you rush you are going to break it okay so you ladies that like to spend five seconds trying to detangle your hair it's just not a reality and at this point i think i realized i literally still had a braid in my hair you can tell i was so overdoing it because i still had braids i still had <laughs> a little bit of like um hair artificial hair stuck in my hair so Yes, I'm just going through making sure that my hair is thoroughly prepped because what we're now going to do is prime it for growth. So this prep allows my wash day to go smoother because now at this point my hair is fully detangled and then I can wash and do my deep conditioning mask so much more easier. So yes, I'm going in of course on the other side using again the tangle layer and I love these bottles because they make the wash day process even easier just having a little pump and they're just gorgeous to look at like who wouldn't want this in their like bathroom they, they look so good so i'm just going to be detangling super gently of course using my fingers fingers first comb second if anything i would even say if you are a new natural then do not even use combs focus on finger detangling make sure that you've got that down to a t and then you can look into using combs so yeah i'm just gonna finger detangle and honestly guys i know i sped this up but it truly really didn't take long and then i'm gonna be going in with root revive pro plus which is the original hair growth shampoo so this shampoo is not for the faint-hearted these are this is for those who truly want to experience luxurious growth because this shampoo is infused with so many great herbs and essential oils that will literally stimulate your roots it's going to revive those roots those follicles that are really dormant and stagnant and refusing to grow this shampoo is going to wake them up and of course do not get in your eye girl because this stuff is so potent that you don't even want it in your eye because it really does help to stimulate growth it's got rosemary it's got peppermint essential oil it's got a lot of great strengthening herbs and the base of the shampoo is cast off soap which is so moisturizing for your hair but a pro tip is to actually use soft water because sometimes when you use cast off soap it kind of reacts with the minerals in hard water so for best results i would suggest use soft water because it won't only help you with your shampoo it's going to help you with everything else it's going to be great for your skin it's great for your hair it's going to even minimize the amount of product that you need because soft water is where it's at i'm going to leave a link to like some recommendations and how to soften your water because you can also do so through your shower head um so i'm gonna link some soft water options below so i'm gonna actually shampoo twice and i don't think i showed it on camera but i definitely did shampoo twice and then i'm gonna be going in with my i find myself using this strengthening uh, strength revival mask she's sick okay she doesn't move i find myself using it pretty much every wash day like even though i'm low porosity because i do frequently heat style with like my rev air and all that stuff so yes i'm going in with the strength revival mask because you you definitely find like especially if you do heat styling on a more regular basis you're going to want to make sure you're going to replenish that protein in your hair because when you heat style it can damage um the protein or the keratin in your hair so you want to make sure that you're replenishing this so this mask is infused again with great herbs like we at a mineral naturals are like your best diy okay um it's got so many great herbs that you're not going to find in like typical um you know store-bought products and it's got silk amino acids which is basically protein and the amino acids are small enough to actually penetrate your hair shaft and make it stronger so this is a double whammy it not only moisturizes your hair because i mean the slip it just gives it's not one of those deep conditions that put, you put on your hair and you're like it's not moving it moves honey and it's got great ingredients that truly strengthen your hair repair damage so that it can actually grow thicker healthier and longer and honestly the reviews speak for themselves i don't even need to do too much talking because guys check the reviews and let me know if you've tried it before 
but nevertheless you want to pick a shampoo especially if you're heat styling regularly that has some kind of protein um, and if you're low porosity i would obviously avoid using too much uh, protein unless you are heat styling regularly so i'm just gonna be applying that all over my hair so we've done our pre-poo with the tangle slayer we shampooed all the dirt away and now we are back to fortifying and strengthening our hair because what you don't want is just to shampoo your hair and then not do any mask or treatment because your hair really needs that TLC especially if you're only going to wash your hair maybe like twice a month or once a month you want to make sure that you're giving your hair the TLC it deserves and as you can see my I'm literally ripping and roaring through my hair so quick because all of the products that we have even our shampoo has great slip like that is crazy right so that's what you're going to get when you invest in great and if you are at this point in the, in the video, then you must be a real OG. So I'm going to be letting you into a little bit of a secret. From the 1st of November, we are going to be starting our early Black Friday sale. So if you're someone who's been thinking about us for a while and you're like, oh, it's a bit out of our budget, then please make sure we see you on the 1st of November to grab the biggest sale of the year because <laughs> every year it's a hit. So I hope to see you there. So I'm just showing you guys what my hair looks like with this deep conditioner on. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? It's so smooth. My hair is literally transformed, transformed, sorry, from that dry, brittle mess it was. And I went ahead and had my shower. And so it was in my hair for about maybe like 15 minutes. And that, wow, my arms are so tanned from the holiday goodness. But yeah, I'm just going to rinse that through and show you guys what my hair is looking like. And of course, I don't just leave it there. I'm going to double up on the moisture with this leave-in conditioner, guys. <laughs> guys, this leave-in moisture it's a miracle like genuinely this leave-in will allow your hair to be moisturized for weeks like guys your hair is not gonna feel brittle and dry once you use this because it's infused with so many great ingredients humectants glycerin honey it's got watermelon oil it's got so many great ingredients and what i'm gonna be doing is just putting my hair in some twists because as you guys know already i am a stretched natural <laughs> never ever will you find me wash my hair and then just like leave it in its curly state because that's literally asking for a recipe for disaster so no matter what i'm doing i'm always going to put my hair in some kind of twist i want to blow it out i'm going to do whatever it is okay <laughs> to make sure that my hair does not shrink because shrinkage equals tangle <laughs> sorry shrinkage equals tangles which equals breakage so you want to make sure that your hair is in a stretched state and in stretched state i literally just mean anything that will okay prevent your hair from shrinking up into its natural state so that means when your hair is air drying you don't want it to dry up in those curls because although my curls do look loose like i've noticed the longer my hair has gotten the more loose it looks but in reality this baby shrinks okay so the moment that the air is you know the hair starts to dry my hair shrinks and shrinkage is a sign of good hair health however it can cause a lot of breakage so this is why you're going to see me put my hair in this little style because i cannot afford <laughs> to allow my hair to air dry in that state so that's what you're looking at now so i'm just showing you that i'm going to be using my follicle fuel pro plus for these edges girl these edges <laughs> these struggle edges that were pulled by these braids so this is why it's so important to address the root cause of any alopecia because what can happen is if you consistently do tight hairstyles it can actually permanently damage your hair follicles so you want to make sure that you are avoiding of course hairstyles that are going to pull your edges and second of all that you are ensuring that you are replenishing those follicles this follicle fuel is literally fuel for follicles and what i'm going to be doing is just blow drying my hair i've kind of done the rest of the section and i've done this about a thousand times but i'm just going to show you this last section of me blow drying my hair and i love the rubber i use speed seven heat one it's a great way to stretch your hair and have minimal minimal breakage because you don't have all that pulling and the tugging from like the typical blow dry attachment and yeah i love stretching my hair with the red hair. unfortunately it's not available in the uk guys i'm so sorry but i will leave my discount code and link for anyone who does want to purchase because they are pretty expensive so any little 
discount definitely does help. So what I pretty much did is I used the Rev M Speed 7 Heat 1 and I just blew it out, made sure that my hair was stretched and then I went in, oh look at that knot, we're not gonna comb through that. I'm gonna, gonna finger detangle and then go through with my comb, make sure that if I do find any knots, I just literally pause and then I will finger detangle. And then I'm gonna go in again with the Rev Air, but now speed seven, heat two, and give it like a, like a bit of a heat blast and then just literally blow dry my hair. And then that way it's like super straight. And the reason I want it straight, it's not because I want to have straight hair, but it's because it minimizes the tangles. So there's no point in blow drying your hair and then it kind of isn't blow dried. It's like half because all that will happen is that your hair will be so tangled and everything like that. So yes, this is my hair in all its glory. I'm putting my hair straight into a protective style. I've literally put it in braids. I do them myself and I just, I rock like that. I'm then gonna go in with my Kink Care Pro Plus because of course we've used all that heat and everything but and I wanna strengthen my hair. This oil is great, it's got so many great herbs. Again, herbs that you don't find in modern you know, products and great oils to strengthen your hair. This oil will honestly penetrate your hair shaft and actually make it stronger and the herbs provide a lot of nutrients and vitality to your hair. This is my routine, start to finish, minimal what effort, and you're going to see me in these braids for at least two weeks. And what I do is if I want to go out and look cute, I will just release the braids and then when I'm done with my activity, I put them back. So this is my hair fully protected and thank you guys so much for watching. You guys have been the real OG. If you've been here for a few years, then definitely comment down below. I love seeing your comments. You guys are amazing. And I just want to show you my hair. And this is how I'm going to be looking. <laughs> a lot of the times people wonder why my hair is so long. It's because I leave my hair looking like Snoop Dogg about 90% of the time. And I keep it pushing. <laughs> so that's me. Love you guys and I'll catch you in the next video.